mandatory entry level training for truck drivers in Canada. It's the new uh, required prerequisite for truck driving and getting your license in Canada. Uh, MELT for short, or as the acronym, mandatory entry level training. Have you gone through this course? What did you think of it? How expensive was it, if you don't mind me asking? And uh, did you? how many hours did you complete? The minimum in Manitoba of trucking school that you have to go through, the minimum is 121 and a half hours, but there's a lot of private schools that offer double that, at, close to double that at 244 hours. Uh, this is a result of the Humboldt Broncos crash in Saskatchewan. Anyone in Canada knows exactly what I'm talking about, and those abroad probably have heard about it too. There was a truck driver who blew a stop sign on a highway in Saskatchewan, and collided with a hockey bus uh, carrying a young hockey team and almost everyone on board died it was tragic it was a huge tragedy and everyone in Canada knows uh, knows about it they were the Humboldt Broncos from Humboldt Saskatchewan you'll see a lot of bumper stickers in Canada that says Humboldt strong on it with their logo uh, my sympathies again go out to them I know it was three years ago already but I'm sure that's a wound that will never fully heal. Now, because of this crash, there's new federal requirements for getting your truck driver license in Canada. And I agree with it. Our training systems in Canada needed improvement badly. So uh, this is a good thing for me, in my mind. However, it's a much more expensive course now. It's about $10,000, though you could get government grants and uh, insurance and stuff that will pay for it in some cases, not all. But what do you think of it? I'd like to know if you went through this course, was it good? Because I got my license before all of this, like way back in 2006 is when I got my commercial license. So uh, what's your thoughts on this mandatory entry level training program? I know it's a lot more of a rigorous training program than what's offered to drivers in the US. Uh, do you think it's an advantage for us to have to go through such intense training? And uh, do you think it's gonna cause an even bigger trucker shortage than we have now? And is it worth it? Is it worth it to have better skilled drivers on the road, but have less of them? It's a hard question to ask. Hey, we need truckers really bad, but we want them to be properly trained. And what can we do to encourage young people to make them see it as a worthwhile investment and a worthwhile career? What can we do? Because we need to convince more young people that this is a, a good career that you can get into. But anyways, that's the question for today. How is the how was the training that you went through? Where did you take your training? Was it in a different part of the world? How long was the training? How much did it cost, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, let's have a conversation down below in the comment section. I'd like to know what the different training standards are in different parts of the world, especially in different countries outside Canada and the US, well, even in the US. I'd like to know what was the training requirements? What was it like? All right, we got the toque on. The sun is gonna be up right away. Oh, there it comes already. Okay, we gotta get trucking. Let's grab our coffee, our keys. I'm gonna just grab my jacket in the back. It's a little bit of a cold one today. We're gonna go hook up to a flat roll tight. We're gonna get to trucking. This is what we're dealing with today. 602 again. This has been our trailer of choice. I've already walked around to the back. I can't get between here and this trailer. So we gotta go around the other way. The sun is joining us today for this beautiful Wednesday. I always like it when the sun shows up because uh, that means the earth is still turning. It's always a good thing. I want to make sure as you're walking down here that all these bins are locked in properly. I've already checked all the tires, but going around again for double check and for your benefit. This tire is lifted. There's nothing touching the tire here like that. It's good. I want to keep that all out of the way. The brake lights worked. I did check them before. We're all set and ready to rock and roll. The trailer is empty. But not for long. <laughs> Those of you that are new here, we call these trailers roll tights. Their official name is called Conestoga Trailer. They got the name Conestoga from the Conestoga Trailers, like the covered wagons that the pioneers used as we moved westward into the interior and to the west coast of our continent and settled the west. They traveled in those covered wagons, they were called Conestogas, so that's where uh, 
That's where those trailers got their name from. It's a covered wagon. Well, today's a little bit of a shorter day. We're gonna go home a little earlier. I've gotta be here early in the morning. I've gotta be up in Arbord at 7.30 a.m. That's a two hour drive from here. Which means I've gotta leave this nice yard of ours here at 5.30 in the morning. Which means I've gotta be here at 5 a.m. to get the truck ready and warmed up. Which means I've gotta leave home at about 4.20. Which means I've gotta get up like 3.30 in the morning usually i get up at five so i'm going home i'm gonna get a, a bit of an early night tonight i'll probably be sleeping by the time Britt gets home or soon after i think she works till 7 30 so i'll probably be awake just until she gets home and i'll go to sleep so a bit of a shorter day today but uh you know we'll make up for it tomorrow all right we're gonna we're gonna head over to the pickup right now i was gonna talk to you on the way there but it's super windy and you couldn't hear anything i was saying over the wind noise so I'm already hooked onto the trailer I'm going to be taking tomorrow just to save me a little bit of time in the morning because I don't want to mess around here for half an hour or whatever and figure out my trailer situation in the morning. So I did my pre-trip today, but don't worry, I'm going to do it again in the morning. I just did a round around it today just to make sure that there's no big problems. So as long as the tire doesn't blow up in the middle of the night, I, I should have a pretty simple pre-trip to do in the morning. I'll just double check everything, do my pre-trip. No, I know I got a good trailer where everything's working and... Uh, I'm going to start the truck up once it's warm, ready to go. We can take off. So I have a fear of speed bumps. But don't worry. I'm slowly getting over it. I was drinking coffee in my slippers the other day when I thought to myself, I should really start using a cup. I didn't really like my beard at first. But it's been growing on me. <laughs> That's all you get. I want to go home. I want to go home. Put the keys in the ignition, Josh. Stop telling dad jokes. Let's go home. Oh, the radio wants to talk to me. How about no? Okay, those are the jokes for today. Wait, I got one more. I got one more. There's a really good one that someone sent in. Okay? Okay? You guys ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for it. Brady says uh, the other day he went looking for camel pants to buy but couldn't find any. <laughs> okay, now I'm going home. I apologize. I am so sorry. I'm so embarrassed right now. My dad tells the worst jokes. Believe me, it's even worse at home. Dad says that the bar was too short and I should end it. I don't really know what to say. Those jokes were pretty bad. I'm so sorry. I like them. I think my dad's pretty funny. Oh, uh, well, I think you laughed, didn't you, Diesel? I didn't laugh once. He's lying. Diesel, did you laugh? Okay, maybe I chuckled. Maybe I did a little bit of a giggle. Diesel, it seemed a lot of people really liked your weasel vlog last week. Maybe we should do another one? I think maybe we could do that. I think we could line one up. I've got some spare time next weekend. I could pencil you in around one o'clock, maybe. Uh, are you telling them that a vlog's gonna be ready? No, not saying anything. I, I wanna be in the vlog, too. Okay, this time, no complaining. Everyone's gotta share the vlog, okay? Fine. It's supposed to be a video vlog, not a heavy vlog. I like vlogs. Can I tell a joke? Okay, what's your joke, Chevy? What's your joke? Okay, okay. What do you call a dog that is outside in the winter time? What? A chili dog. <laughs> Good one, Chevy. Diesel, you got one? You got one? I guess I could wrangle one up. 
feeling kind of lazy right now, though. I'm just gonna stay here and tell you from here. What kind of dog likes taking a bath every day? A shampoo do. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay, okay, I got one more. You think they'll like it? I think they'll laugh, Chevy. Okay, well, I'm kind of shy. Diesel, can you help me? Okay, I'm ready. I recently planted a pet tree. It's like having a pet dog. Except the bark is much quieter. <laughs> Anyways, guys, those jokes were clearly better than my dad's jokes. Clearly, my brother did not just yawn, did he? I'm kind of bored. Whose jokes were better? We'll see you tomorrow.